Hello once again, and welcome to lesson number two on our sign language series. I'm Professor Oren Otter. Hopefully you already knew that. So today we're going to be starting in with some basic signs for learning sign language. Now, uh, first a few things. It doesn't really matter whether you do these signs right-handed or left-handed. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you are primarily left-handed signs simply because I learn by watching other people's signs and I tend to do that in mirror image. So if they're signing with their right hand, I see their right hand on my left, so I use my left hand. It doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. Now this is your sign language window. Most signs are going to take place in this window, so don't get wild and go like this, because people will assume that you're shouting. Okay, so to begin, uh, let's review some words from our last lesson. We'll start with I, or as my teacher taught me, I. These are both acceptable. You, we, and this or that. Very simply, just pointing to whatever or whoever you're talking about, with the exception of we, which is a sweeping motion that encompasses the group you're talking about. Word, so PL, right in front of your mouth. Sign, name, and correct. We're going to move on to some interrogative pronouns. First, what? This is what? Like, what? What are you talking about? This is what? Where? Like the needle of a compass. And for when? You've got yourself a little clock tower and you're making the hands go around. This is when? What, where, and when. Some connecting words. And, or, indicating one of two choices. But, you're pulling the choices apart. Not one, but the other. For, it's like this. That's, I'm doing this for this reason. That's for. Uh, not or pretty much any negation is like this. Just a thumb off the chin. Now. Now. And to make something past tense, it's done. I'm through with it. Can. This is can. Just picture putting something inside of a can. Do. You've got an activity in front of you and you're doing it like this. Remember. You're pulling a thought out of your head. Remember. Forget. You're wiping it out of your brain. Need. Imagine you're hooking on to something you need. Think. You're rubbing that thought around in your head. No. You're patting that little fact that you know. Understand. Let me get down here where you can see. A little light going on in your head. Understand. And one of my favorite verbs, eat. You're just putting a piece of food in your mouth like that. Now, of course, we're going to need some things to eat. So, some nouns. Pizza. Two Zs. Just like that. Chocolate. Like you have got a bar of chocolate here, and you're making the C above the bar of chocolate. Chinese food, or Chinese for short. That's Chinese. 
like the buttons on a Chinese st- shirt. Now your sentences for this assignment, I'll go over them with you, but if you're, uh, if you're doing the homework for assi- this assignment, I would like you to post these sentences in sign as a video response. So the first sentence is, what is the sign for? What is the sign for that? What is the sign for that? I don't know the word for that. I, or I, I don't know the word for that. Or the word for that. I can't remember my name. I cannot remember my name. That sign is not correct. That sign is not correct. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where do you want to eat? Where do you want to eat? And I just realized I haven't given you the word for want. Sign for want is like this. You're pulling what it is you want towards your body. I need the sign for that. I need the sign for that. Or if you want to be more precise, I need the sign for that. I forget your name. I forget your name. I don't understand that sign. I don't understand that sign. I think I want to eat Chinese. I think I want to eat Chinese. I need to eat pizza now. I need to eat pizza now. I ate your chocolate pizza. I eat past tense your chocolate pizza. All right, that's it for this lesson. Again, if you're participating in the course and you would uh, like to do the homework, uh, just post those sentences as a response to this video. So, thank you, and I'll see you again for lesson three.